I've just finished a book by Meg J. It calls Define Indicate, and I really, 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 really didn't like it at all. Don't get me wrong, uh, there are some nice points in this book. It's quite motivating. The author is pointing out how important your 20s are. That is almost the only time you can build strong relationships and connections, learn and have an important experience. If you mess up your 20s, you will be almost not able to find a good job or work opportunity, to build a family or strong relationships, have a nice respectful future and other important things. And if you didn't succeed before 35, that's your fault. The end. Sounds really strange, but let's think about it a little moment and find out why. Where are these thoughts about defining decade coming from? I grew up in a small town in Ukraine dreaming about going to another country, traveling the world, see something else, different from my usual borders and life frames. And thanks to my parents, I was able to go studying to Prague. I was really expecting my 20s be like in Hollywood movies, with all that uh, Project X student parties and a lot of opportunities for work and wonderful lifetime experiences. And it was like that, but maybe not exactly like that. With all that the above, I also faced the most exhausting mental breakdowns, health issues, problems of adaptation in the new society, language and cultural barriers, extreme loneliness and other benefits of your 20s. When you're a teenager and you come to your adult life, that starts at your 20s approximately, you're really, really, really lost. You see so many examples how people become millionaires even before 20. Coon making waves because he's a teen. I'm 14. I'm an investor, an author, and a motivational speaker. Jack isn't Australia's only schoolyard millionaire. You are consuming a crazy amount of movies and advertising promising 20s to be the best time of your life. You will be young free to try whatever you want and have your own experiences and adventures. So why are so many of us struggling? If it's the greatest time of our life, why almost all of us feels like shit? In this video, I will try to gather with you, try to find an answer, and also I will explain why I like to get older. All of your early 20s, you would probably feel like a kid, but society would put on you all adult responsibilities. You will need to get a proper education, even if you don't know who you want to become in the future. You're gonna need to support yourself financially. But you are a crazy inexperienced guy or girl who just came out of the uni or college. You were told that the degree that you choose will give you the opportunity to find a good job. And after finishing quite long and extremely exhausting study, you will be quite surprised that employers don't run to you with their job offers. Of course, we cannot forget the pressure about getting in relationships and build a family. And in the end, you would still be dealing with some of your childhood traumas that took time not long time ago. Even if your childhood was uh, quite mentally healthy, you would still need to understand how to be respectful in this world, how to be responsible for yourself, and also how to provide value for other people. Sounds a little bit too much already, but it's only tip of the iceberg. The other thing is that we always see so many opportunities that it's really hard for us to make a decision. We all know already about fear of missing out, also known as FOMO. But it also has a more anxious sibling, FOBO, that is fear of better option. Psychologist Barry Schwartz highlighted this FOBO thing in his book Paradox of Choice that I really recommend you to read. In his book, Barry writes, learning to choose is hard. Learning to choose well is harder. And learning to choose well in the world of unlimited possibilities is harder still, perhaps too hard. We cannot choose something because we are crazy afraid that we will miss something better and more cool, rewarding, nice or fun. We either say yes to everything, feeling overwhelmed, or say no to everything, feeling behind. When you are a child, your decisions in a day count is around 3000. However, as older we get, as much exponential discount grow. Now we can't just decide which game to play with a friend or what is your favorite toy. 
We need to make hundreds of thousands of decisions every day, and some of them are quite hard, like for example, which degree I should pursue next five years of my life. That's why it's quite important to take pressure out of our 20s and allow yourself to try out. Make a decision that is not relied on how much salary I'll get, but more on how happy I will become making this or that. What is also really hard at your 20s is that you just try to figure out where are your personal boundaries and they're really, really easily breakable by authoritative people. Your parents can decide your degree, your boss can ask you to stay longer hours, underpay you for your job, give you unrealistic deadlines. But most of us would just stay quiet, not speaking out loud about our boundaries. We're either afraid to lose a job or important connections, or we are really mm, afraid to make difficult moral choices. And self-esteem is really fluctuating in your 20s. However, there is also a good thing. As older you get, as much you figure out your personal boundaries and as more resistant you become to all circumstances. I finally got to the point when I do my thing even if all around me telling me oh, this is not a serious thing to do. Maybe, yeah, but I will still give it a try. This is my answer. I'm almost 25 now, right in the middle of my defining decade. And I need to say that I still didn't define anything for myself and I really like it. This mindset of trying new things, changing goals, places, careers and things I want to do give me an amazing possibility to grow as a person, as a unique, irreplaceable individual without constricting and boring time frames and also other frames. I really like to get older because every year I experience a new, unique way to exploring myself and the world around me. And I'm not at all afraid to not define anything, not a place where I want to live or a career opportunity, nothing. I'm just curious as hell and I really wish you to stay curious as long as you can. So this is it for today. Thanks for watching till the end of the video. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe. I would like to see you in our small but growing family. You can also leave a comment down below what you think about getting older or about defining decade. Maybe you read the book. And I also will see you in the next video. Bye.